So the Banshee's still leaking fluid out the uh, overflow. So got on eBay, did a search for a Banshee float needle. Uh, found these two of them. It was about 20 bucks shipped from a dealer on eBay. Uh, just searched for a Banshee float needle. Uh, did a little research, made sure that these fit, and uh, take the carb out, take the float bowl off. You can see all the gas in there. I drain that out, remove this pin, and then take the float out, and the float needle will be attached to that. I flip the carb around here. Just pop that pin out. Pull the float up, and then there's the float needle. Mm, looks like the rubber's just deformed a little bit. I don't know if I get the camera to focus here. We can see that little ring around there, so it's just a worn out needle. I'm gonna bend that, uh, that float pin there back a little bit so that it sits about flush again and then install the new needle. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other carb except for the other carb wasn't leaking so I'm gonna save the needle on the other carb just in case I need it uh, later on down the road. Compare the new one to the old one. The new one's on top and the old one's on the bottom. Make sure they're the same size, same diameter, make sure that you didn't get the wrong part and then uh, reinstall it. It's always a good idea to clean out that hole that the float needle goes in, but I already cleaned this carb and it's only been filled up with gas once since then, so I knew that it was clean already. Um, I also tried to adjust the float in my last video, which uh, did not fix the problem, so I knew that it was a worn out uh, float needle, so ordered them, throw a one in there, a new one in there, and I'll reinstall it and make sure that it doesn't leak. I'll check it tomorrow morning. So there's the other carb, do the same thing, pop the pin out, pull the float up, take the needle off, put the new needle on, put the float back in with the needle on it, put the pin back through, and then put the float bowl back on. So if you wonder if your needle's sealing or not, here's a little test you can do to find out. I have a funnel here, here with a little bit of fuel in it, quarter inch fuel line that I have taped to the bottom of the funnel down there. The fuel line runs the carb. The carb's all set up except for the float bowl. Everything else is there. So you can see that the needle's sealing there. You can look for any leaks, any slow leaks. You can make sure that O-ring is sealing around the uh, needle seat on that piece that comes out underneath the bracket. And you can make sure it's functioning properly. Just the gravity of the, the weight of the float alone should be enough to seal it as long as you don't put too much fuel in the top. But uh, if you pick it up here, you'll see that fuel comes out. And it does seal. It's actually quite a bit of pressure too. So then you can blow that out with CO2 and uh, try again and see if it still will seal or not. And so there's a test on whether or not your needle seat's sealing.